what's going on ladies and gentlemen on YouTube my name is Sarlin I just got done watching episode 3 of Codement you guys had suggested this abridgment series didn't really do anything for me uh, it just wasn't my cup of comedy uh, it might get better as time goes on it just wasn't for me personally based on what I saw I can tell the dude that wrote this was really highly influenced by American based culture specifically focusing on tv series and gaming which is cool you know i'm usually pro this kind of stuff i got all the references involving what i watched it just didn't do anything for me involving laughter now if it was your cup of tea and you enjoyed it you know cool kudos to that as long as it makes you laugh that's all that matters it just wasn't my cup of tea personally so i hope you respect that so, yeah, I decided to make this video involving that. And I figured, you know, what the heck, this is Code Geese, so why not talk about it a little bit? And uh, if you don't want any spoilers for this, you can just stop the video now, because I'm just going to be talking a little bit about Code Geese. So, yeah, here we go. So, Code Geese was one of my favorite animes. Uh, Lelouch v. Britannia, come on, one of the most badass characters ever made. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh... I absolutely adored this series, and uh, my only complaint was the final episode for this series when we actually, you know, Lelouch actually dies. But the cool part about it was that he did technically plan his own death. How many characters can you name out that actually literally plan their own death? You can probably do it on one hand. You don't see that one too often. Uh, you, you, you can see main characters dying or maybe killing themselves off, but planning their own death, literally, like, that, that takes some motivation. And, uh, he was smart enough where he didn't actually have to die, though. And Suzaku didn't want to kill him at, at the very last moment, like, he didn't want to do it. He even asked Lelouch if he's sure about this, you know, and he cries at the end, too. He didn't want to kill him, because even at the end of the day, after all the bad stuff Lelouch did... All the people he did technically kill. It was that was still his best friend. So it was still a sad moment to see the music even going into that. Like after he gets stabbed and seeing uh, Nanali uh, just tear up, and then after she touches him, finds out the whole plan and realizes that that the brother that she eventually starts hating, um, you know, actually wasn't that bad. And in, in the end, and she's sad and upset and it was just a really sad moment uh i'm almost tearing up a little bit thinking about it it was a really sad episode but uh he didn't have to die i didn't like how it was written for his death i understand it but i didn't like it funny story when it comes to the fanfic for this there were a lot of people that were um conflicted with lelouch's death because at the very end of the last episode it shows Lelouch and C2 uh, kind of like on this wagon and they're kind of at peace and they're just going down this road and it looks like Lelouch is still alive. Uh, but unfortunately, the actual writer kind of phoned in on that and said that Lelouch was dead, so his death was confirmed, which is a little unfortunate. But interesting, because there are people that still would rather believe that Lelouch is alive and he actually did survive getting stabbed because he became immortal afterwards, which would have been a legitimate ending. It would have been a really good ending, a much better ending than just having Lelouch die. But I understand why they did what they did with his death, because they wanted him to atone for all the people that he did kill. So I understand it, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. I didn't like the ending for it. He totally could have lived. He totally should have. I don't care. I don't care. It was such a good character, dang it. <sighs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm done ranting. <laughs> I'm going to, I guess, stop the video for right now. I will get back into Pokemon X and Y. I apologize for not getting more into that. And I will be doing Ruby Volume 2 when I get a full day off. Because I like to, like I said, the whole point of the marathon is to watch it all in one go. And that's what I want to do. But I need the time to be able to do uh, a full marathon for the full volume 2 of Ruby. So be prepared for that. Anyways, have a good day. Peace. Oh, rate, comment, subscribe. Yeah, that too. <laughs>